Shop Inventory Bundles allow you to use existing inventory to create a new entry in the register. Bundles draw from the stock of one or more of your other products. This allows you to build recipes, track products in cases or packs, pour drinks, set up wholesale pricing, create gift packs, track commissions, and much more. To put it simply, a bundle is a product made from other products. Creating a bundle in Shop Inventory is just like any other product, but with a few tweaks. So if you're new to Shop Inventory, check out the video on creating products first, then come back here. The first step is to create all the component products you'll need for your bundle. If you want to build a latte, for example, you'll need to create products to track your milk and beans first. To sell a glass of wine, we'll first need to create a product for the bottle. If you are going to be using a product to create a bundle, be sure to make it easy on yourself with clear, consistent labeling. Usually the variant name is the best place to indicate the unit of measure being used. If an ingredient is not going to be sold by itself, you can also make it inactive so it doesn't appear at the point of sale. Inactive products can still be tracked and included in bundles. Once we have all our components and ingredients created, we can begin creating the bundles. First, let's create a simple recipe. Just click on Create Product to start, and we'll make a simple latte. This is just like the regular product creation process until you get to the Variants and Default section. Add a variant name so you can label it clearly. Enter the retail price here. Then, turn your product into a bundle. Let's click on the gear wheel on the right and click Convert to Bundle. Now our latte has two components, milk and coffee beans. You can add as many components as you like. This is where clear labels are important. Since I know I'm tracking milk in gallons, the quantity used in my latte is also in gallons. Shop Inventory allows you to go down to three decimal places for precision. In this case, I use 8 ounces or 0.125 gallons. I also use 17 grams of coffee, so that's 0.017 kilograms. Assembly slash labor cost is an optional field you can use if you'd like to factor in time and labor cost when Shop and Tory calculates your profit on the sale of this product. We'll estimate and say it costs us about 15 cents worth of labor to put this bundle together. We can adjust that later if needed, or we can just leave it blank for now. You'll notice that the cost field is grayed out. Bundle costs are automatically calculated based on the cost of the components we selected and any assembly slash labor costs. You can see the calculated costs back on the main inventory list. Once you're done building the recipe, simply check the tax rates and save. If you need to create another variant, just use the Add Variant button and repeat the process. This will create a new variant under the same product. And we can also make that a bundle. So on the register and website, you'll see one product and multiple variant option. Each variant can have its own mix of components. You can also view your bundles on the main inventory list. The bundle icon next to the variant name indicates this is a bundle. You can also apply a filter to view only your bundles. Let's look at a few more examples. Not every bundle needs more than one component. In this example, you'll see I have a bottle of wine as my main product and this variant is for a glass. When I sell this glass, it will deduct 0.25 bottles from stock. In this case, we want the bundle to be a variant of the existing product. This way, I can select the wine and then have an option for either bottle or glass. This also works for products that come in cases. For example, I can sell a six-pack or individual bottles, which are bundle variants set up as one-sixth of the pack. You can even set up a bundle that's exactly one-to-one -one with its component. Here I have a bundle variant that is just one of my product, so I can sell it at a different price. When it comes to bundles, the best way to learn is usually by doing. We have plenty more guides, tutorials, and explainers in our help section in the I for Information or at help.shopventory.com. Thanks, and as always, make it a great day.